saying, man, don't want to see this happening to him. He's not an R. R. Kelly. I see R. Kelly brewed up in there, man. We got our we got our things with R. Kelly, man. It's definitely torn, and we we torn different directions when it comes to R. Kelly. Yeah. Might as well transition into that right now. When you enter the true podcast, make sure you go up top and hit that like button. Oh God, what we got next? Well, yes. Yeah, so R. Kelly today was trending on YouTube, and as we know, it's nothing good. Spotify, one of the major three music streaming services, has elected. They actually first they put out a new policy, you know, centered around hate. And pretty much is what it's saying is it's going to ban and bury music or artists that judges to be hateful, whether the songs incite violence or artists who conduct and conduct they do not tolerate. R. Kelly was actually the first one to be taken off the chopping block. And I think uh, X, 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 Chion, I think his yeah, name. Yeah, Triple X, X, right, whatever. Right, yeah. right, right. His name was, you know, taken off, uh, you know, uh, the song, excuse me, been taken off. You know, Spotify. What does this say right now for the future of music? And do you think companies like Apple and Tidal, and maybe even like YouTube and other places that do play music, do you think they will actually follow suit and banning artists who they think you know music or conduct is hateful or incites violence? It's a hard stance on Spotify's part. I mean, it could backfire on their behalf. They're really going to have to be um, non-judgmental when it comes to this, um, whatever they have going on and put in place. If a country singer acts crazy, his ass better be off of here. If a rock star has starts acting crazy, his ass better be off of there. Because right now you have a list of R. Kelly and Triple X who are urban music. Let's just keep it 100. Now, that being said, R. Kelly, no matter what you think or no matter what you may paint a picture of him being guilty or not guilty, he has not been charged or found guilty of any allegation right now. No matter what you think, no matter what you say, we've said it right here on The Uncensored Truth. How guilty we think he is, the Aaliyah thing, the booty tasting this with the young girl. We've joked around nonstop, but let's just keep it a buck real quick. The man still has not been charged of anything. Let you have Spotify taking his music off of their platform and, and basically taking money out of his pocket because of something that's alleged. Mm -hmm. We have females coming out. The, uh, Jocelyn Savage, 22 years old. Another female, his girlfriend, 21 years old. Yes, they're young. Yes, we may have ideas. They had the, the documentary came out. We were just listening to it a little yeah. bit in our pre-production. It's a lot of shit in there. Guess it's so. a lot of shit that points the finger that, yeah, maybe he is into some dirty shit and fucked up. But let's make some points real quick. One, he's not been convicted of anything. And two, where are the motherfucking parents? Where are the daddies and the mommies at to shut this shit all the way down before he, a grown-ass man, can get to their kid? He's not out there running around in orphanages and, and you know what I mean, group homes trying to find these girls and preying on women without that situation. He's walking into homes if this is being done. And how is he just able to rip uh, kids, women at that, out of their homes to put him in some kind of crazy cult to have them basically all uh, head and shoulders on his will? How does that happen? Right. How can that not start? And how can we not point blame at the punk ass parents that is allowing this to happen? Jocelyn Savage's father came out and said that he's a, uh, his, his daughter is not talking to him. His daughter is not reaching out. There has to be something more going on. But brother, there's been things going on that said you are the direct person that walked her right into R. Kelly's arm. Explain that, right? It just, you know what I mean? So we just have to, when we, we get on R. Kelly, we got to talk about it in all perspectives and all circles, because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. he can't be solo in this. The brother can't read, write, or do math. He has to have a circle and a team around him to be able to orchestrate and do the things he's doing if he's doing them. He has not been found guilty yet. As yeah. much as I think he's guilty, I'm not the judge. I'm not the one banging the gavel. I don't put that motherfucker in jail. He ain't guilty yet. This is unfair with Spotify's doing. Yeah, and that's, and that's what one thing you have to do is be responsible in media and journalism and remind you, like you just said, that no charges have been brought up on his brother. He's not in jail. So we have to give him, you know, the benefit of the doubt, no matter how much we think, no matter how many allegations come out. Mm -hmm. It's hard. It sucks. And most people may say, you know what I mean? Dude, you're full of shit. Yeah. In the comment section, you know, I'll take it. I'll take all the you know, criticism you got my way. But, you know, um, if it were anybody else, trust me. And you were being accused of something you didn't do. You would want, you know, um, that that level, you know, um, of scrutiny. You know what I'm saying? And Definitely. we see how they tear down our stars, our celebrities, our our legends mm -hmm. in here in in the industry of entertainment, hip hop, music, acting, TV, et cetera, et cetera. We see it. We seen what happened just to Bill Cosby. He's about to get his sentencing up to 30 years in prison. That man could face in jail for the allegations that he was on. I mean, you, whether you think he was guilty or not, you're talking about a statute of limitation uh, rule that wasn't ever put in play. You talk about uh, situations where 30 years, 40 years after the fact, these are being brought up and he's so easily put in jail. You just see the kind of, uh, uh, the we, we're not sitting here 
condoning the crime. It's just questioning the logic and the reasoning behind the timing of it. It just seems real, just perfect that you can tear down a man's name right before he goes, give him the legendary status that he is. Now, we're not trying to compare R. Kelly to Bill Cosby when it comes to legendary status, because I don't think the two even compare this dude. And R. Kelly has been alleged with these incidents forever in time. We just heard about him talking about Aaliyah and how the marriage license was set up when she was only 15 years old mm -hmm. and he was 21, 22. These allegations have been going on about R. Kelly forever, forever, forever in a day. He probably is guilty for most of them. But like we said, his name is getting torn down. He can't make money. His life is being put to shit without us really properly knowing. If he is doing some wild sex cold shit, it's taboo as it is. Mm -hmm. If there's no one underage in that house, there's nothing illegal going on. Let's remember that. Let's keep that in mind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Definitely hit the nail on the head with that one. So, yeah, man, this is your brother, Old God and Sam, man, on the Uncensored Truth Podcast. We're going all the way in today. Make sure you hit the like button and share this video. Yes. This one.